I just made some coffee and I'm going to have a little bit of a relaxing morning. Ever since quarantine started, I like to really take my morning slow and just enjoy them instead of having to rush out the door and do a million things every day. Um, so it's been super nice. So I am just going to drink some coffee, play with the dogs a little bit. They're always a little bit rambunctious in the mornings. Um, there's my little pup Lenny. And <laughs> he just burped. Um, and yeah, so I'm like I said, I'm gonna drink my coffee, watch YouTube videos, and just enjoy myself. So now that I've woken up a bit and got some caffeine in me, I am going to make myself a protein smoothie. Um, I make myself these almost every morning, especially when I was going to work and going to school every week, um, when things were not in quarantine. I'll show you guys quickly the ingredients that I put in the smoothie and then I'll show you how to make it. I just got to take my cute little pup out. He's whining as he needs to go out to pee. Um, but let me just show you guys here. So, okay. So I have my Ninja, which I absolutely love. Um, I use this every morning, like I said. So I always start out with um, water. And I fill it up to the eight ounce um, line here. And I put spinach in the, the smoothie. I put some frozen blueberries. These are unsweetened because um, I don't want to be adding a lot of sugar. I always add a half of a banana frozen. Um, I found that adding a whole banana to the smoothie made it too thick and I really like the smoothies on the thinner side. Um, I have this chia seed and flaxseed mixture that I put together just in a mason jar um, and I always add maybe about like two tablespoons or one tablespoon I'm not really sure I just kind of eyeball it. I add some collagen powder. This is good for, hopefully it, okay, there we go. It's good for skin, hair, nail, and joint support. Um, and I've gotten my husband on this as he has, he his joints just hurt sometimes. So I've had him start taking this um, and we'll see how that helps him. I add my Vega protein. Um, by the way, I am gluten-free, so all of these items um, are free of gluten. And then I add my gluten-free organic rolled oats and a dash of cinnamon. Okay, so I'm going to fill water up to the 8-ounce line. Make sure the water is cold. I have accidentally done hot water on accident one time. Um, but I realized that I put hot water in there before I added all my ingredients, but make sure it's cold. And then, um, I put a half of a banana in. And when I freeze my bananas, I always break the bananas up, um, break them in half before I freeze them. Otherwise, it's too hard to break them apart when they're already frozen. 
So that's just a little tip if you guys want to freeze bananas. Then I just add some blueberries in. I just kind of eyeball that as well. Sometimes I'll add more, sometimes I'll add less. And the frozen ingredients really um, make the smoothie cold. Otherwise, if you don't add any frozen ingredients, um, your smoothie can be warm and just kind of taste funky. So then I add some oatmeal. Then I add a little bit of chia seeds. You can see here um, how much chia seeds I added. So chia seeds are really good for fiber. Um, it's really good for your intestine, intestines um, and stuff like that. So, and they just have a lot of um, omega threes, I believe. I'll look into that and let you guys know exactly the health benefits of that. So, got my chia seeds and flax seeds added. Then I do my collagen peptides. I just add one scoop of this in there. It says you can do one or two scoops, but I always just do one because this stuff is kind of expensive. And then I add a scoop of my protein powder. And I always get the vanilla flavor. So. And I add a little bit of cinnamon. much spinach as I can but I'm almost out of my spinach so I'm just going to add this. Okay, so here is the finished product. Just gonna pour this in here and it does kind of have like a I don't know how to describe this color like it kind of has a tinge of the blue or purple from the blueberries but it kind of looks like a bluish gray just because of the spinach mixed in but the smoothie is so good, but I took it to the hospital once for one of my clinical rotations. Um, and someone at the hospital said, are you drinking dirt? And I just thought that was so rude. Why can't people just ask nicely what, what you're drinking? I mean, I know it doesn't look like a normal drink, but it is full of nutrients and that's what's important. So I'm going to drink this. It's super delicious. You guys got to try the recipe out. Yum. Um, I make this for my son a lot, but I omit the protein power, protein powder and the collagen just because I don't feel like kids should be having that. So I usually just do banana, blueberries, everything, and then add some peanut butter for him for a little bit of extra protein. So I'm going to tackle some of the dishes right now. My husband cooked dinner last night since I've been working from home on the weekend nights until usually about midnight. So he has to cook dinner while I work and he had a lot to do last night because he worked as well. And I told him that I would do the dishes for him in the morning just to give him a little bit of a break. So I'm going to do that, listen to some music and drink my smoothie. And then I'll probably kind of freshen up for the day a little bit, maybe take a shower and wash my face and stuff like that.
Okay, you guys, so I just got some super exciting packages in right now. Um, I have been waiting for like two weeks for these, so I'm so excited. Um, the first package I got was from Crate and Barrel, and I did open it already just because I could not contain my excitement. <laughs> but we got some new dishware. So the dishware that we bought is from Crate and Barrel, of course. Um, it is called Roulette White, um, and this is the mug set. So the mugs that we got are these. They are super nice and modern and sleek, and they are made out of porcelain. Um, so we haven't had anything break yet, so we're very lucky. Um, but the mugs that did come with the set are these uh, teacup um, type of cups, I would say. And they did come with like a little saucer. So these, so you just kind of set it like that, which I absolutely love these. But sometimes these cannot fit like um, a very large cup of coffee in here. So that's why I've been eyeing these since they are a little bit bigger and can fit more in there. So we got those. And then we also got some new bowls. Um, very deep bowls. Uh, these are for like salads and especially soups. We love soup and chili and stuff like that in the winter time. These will be good for pastas as well. The bowls that did come with our roulette set that we bought um, were these. And these are very, very shallow bowls. Um, and they just were not ideal for soups this winter and my husband and son just They just were not happy with these so um, I think they have come to like them now that we've been using them for like over Or not over a year, but about a year So I thought it was time to finally get these So I'm gonna pop those in the dishwasher and give them a wash and then we'll be able to start using them. So I'm super excited about that. And then I also did get a package from Figs. I got some new scrubs. So let me just open these up. I'll probably do a review video on these. I'm um, giving my review about how the scrubs feel and how they fit and stuff like that. So I have never purchased from Figs before. And I've heard very good things from friends and family members. So the only thing I will say as of now is that they were kind of pricey. I'm trying to find the price here. Okay, they don't have the prices on here anymore, but I'm pretty sure I paid like 70 to 80 dollars for one top and one scrub pant. So they feel super nice. So I did get the navy set and I did get a small in the pants and the top. So I'll do that in a different video for you guys if you're interested. So I'm about to put the dishes in the dishwasher to clean them, the new ones. And then I'm going to throw some chicken and salsa in the crock pot for dinner for tonight. Okay, so I got two chicken breasts from Heidi. So I got my crock pot out over here. So the crock pot that we have is the all clad, if you can see that. It's super nice. Um, so I'm just gonna be throwing the chicken into there quickly. So now that we got the two chicken breasts in there, they are super big. They were like each a pound each. So very big. 
Um, and then I'm just gonna do, um, I don't know if I'm gonna do this whole jar of picante salsa, but um, I want the chicken breast to be covered. And this will just go into the mixture after we shred the chicken, so it'll be like a salsa chicken um, meal. So, this pour. I probably don't need to do all of it. But I about did. So, you guys can see. Okay, and then I am going to set this to four hours on high. Start. And then we just put the lid on. And then we will have a delicious meal for dinner. And then my husband doesn't have to cook while I'm working. <laughs> so I'm going to eat some lunch right now and hang out with the pups. And then I'm going to log in and start working. So if you guys like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure to make sure to subscribe to my channel if you like my content. I will be posting more videos, um, hopefully, and let me know if there's any type of videos that you want me to make. I'm probably gonna make some nursing related videos, but also just lifestyle, healthy meals, fun things to do, stuff like that. So I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in my next video.